Hi, welcome to the channel. Do you know that inside of you is your own personal rule book? Yeah, there's a set of rules that you go by and it tells you how to play this game we call life. What's that rule book called? They're called your personal standards. Let's talk about it. What are standards? According to Wikipedia, standards are a rule or principle that are used as a basis of judgment. This rule or principle is regarded as the usual or most common size or form. Also, this rule or principle is also used for comparison for things like quality, excellence, correctness, etc. So basically with personal standards, personal standards are those internal rules or principles that guide your behavior every day. Believe it or not, you have personal standards for everything in your life. The clothes you wear, the entertainment you enjoy, the food you eat, hygiene, housing, education, integrity, how you respond to other people, caring, compassion, anger. Everything in your life is run by your personal standards. The other thing that personal standards are good for are holding ourselves accountable for our behavior. How many times have you done something, anything, and thought that you've gone above and beyond? Well, you've gone above and beyond what? You've gone above and beyond your personal standards. Your personal standards is that bar you set, and that's your norm. Anytime your behavior is above this bar, you consider yourself going above and beyond. Anytime your behavior is below this bar, you kind of say like, ah, I could do better. In fact, I know I can do better. Where do personal standards come from? I mean, how did you get personal standards? Well, personal standards are put into you from the values and the morals and the beliefs that you receive from your parents and your culture. Now, as you explore outside of your parenting culture, your personal standards are developed by society, the media, your friends. So, if you have personal standards, you're probably wondering, well, wait, why is the bar set right here? Why can't I set the bar up here? Or why can't I set the bar down here? Actually, you can. Your personal standards can go up and down based on your decision. So you can decide to set your personal standards very high, but what ends up happening is that you end up suffering for what could be called perfectionism. When you have a personal standards that are so high, you're setting yourself up for failure. And each failure will trigger anger, resentment, depression, and eventually stagnation as you start to doubt your own decisions. Because no matter how hard you try to reach this bar on your personal standards, you keep falling short. You don't want to set your bar so high that not even you can reach it. Now for the opposite. What happens when you set your personal standards low? When you set your personal standards too low, there's nothing to really motivate you to achieve anything. This leads to a life of boredom or irresponsibility because you simply don't care. And because you don't care, you're not likely to make any productive decisions. And here's the dangerous part, you're more likely to be manipulated by others. Because if you don't stand for anything, you'll fall for everything. And when you're dealing with low personal standards, you're opening the door for a manipulator to come into your life and drop you into a fog. And fog stands for fear, obligation, and guilt. It was developed by Susan Forward and Donna Frazier when they wrote about what's called emotional blackmail. And fog, fear, obligation, and guilt, are the mechanisms that manipulators use to keep you in line. So, just how your standards usually tell you what you should and should not do? If you have low personal standards, a manipulator will come into your life and they will implant their personal standards on you. They will tell you what you should and what you shouldn't do. And that can be straight up dangerous. Now, remember personal standards set, sets a bar. So the bar could be high or the bar could be low. 
What you have to be aware of though, is that sometimes people tend to become judgmental with personal standards because they tend to compare their personal standards to someone else's personal standards. And sometimes they feel like another person's personal standards doesn't add up or come up to their personal standards. So they may have a tendency to be judgmental or to look down upon someone. And I am going to tell you that you should never, ever, ever judge someone who has a different personal standards than you. Because personal standards are as different as the people around us. Your personal standard may not be someone else's personal standards. And you have to realize that even though you set the bar here, and this is your personal standard, somebody else's personal standard may be up here. Someone else's personal standard may be down here. Either way, it is not your job to judge them based on your personal standard. You are no better or no less than they are. They just merely have different personal standards, and that's okay. What happens when somebody comes to you and tells you, your standards are too high? So, when somebody says that your standards are too high, you need to check the messenger. Let's say you set a personal standard in the pillar of love. So let's say your personal standards is I should demonstrate love with my actions. With my intimacy, I'm gonna to try to establish attachments, maybe even soul ties. With my commitment, I'm gonna make sure it's hard for me to hurt them and hard for me to leave them. With the uniqueness, I'm going to make sure they are my favorite. With your demonstration, I'm gonna demonstrate love with kindness, gentleness, and compassion. If the messenger is a close friend or a close family member that you trust, then the message could actually be that your standards are too high. So maybe those were the standards in the pillar of love that you set. However, when you look at yourself and relationships, you find out that you actually do forget birthdays and holidays and anniversaries. You actually do run back to your ex whenever there's some sort of conflict. You actually are the one threatening to leave the relationship when it gets rocky. That you've set your, your personal standard for the pillar of love up here, but you are unable to live up to that standard and you keep failing. The next situation can be when someone says that your standards are too high. Right. Could actually mean that your expectations are too high. What you need to remember is that your expectations are derived from your personal standards. So a lot of your personal standards go into forming expectations of others. So if they're telling you that your personal standards are too high, what it probably means is that your expectations of them are too high and they can't reach it. So they're either unable to accept it or they're just not there yet, which means they're unable to accept it because they have um, a belief that everybody cheats in a relationship. For you to think that no one is gonna cheat in a relationship is foolish or they may need to learn about love languages. They may need to learn that love is kindness, gentleness, and compassion. So in this instance, it's not that your standards are too high, it's just your expectations of them are too high and they are just not able to meet them or they're simply, they haven't leveled up their own personal standards to meet your expectations. The third reason someone could say that your standards are too high. Well, for them, you're gonna find that there's a discovery of basic differences between your two definitions of love. So in order for them to meet your personal standards, in order to meet you on your level, it would mean a fundamental change on how they define love. They may see your standards as higher than their standards, or they may see your standards as a fantasy, as in no one could ever live up to your standards. Their standard is not your standard. They know it and they accept it. And because there's a fundamental definition of that standard, this would not make a good partner for you. It, one of the great things about personal standards is that you can revise them. So if you do set your personal standard at a bar that's too high for you, guess what? You can lower that bar. If you put it at a bar that, if you place your personal standard bar too low for you, you can raise that bar. To wrap this up, Personal standards are your internal rule book that help you determine decisions for your behavior. We set the bar, which is our personal standards, and then we spend our lives either reaching the bar, going a little below the bar, or going above and beyond the bar. The deal is personal standards 
are flexible. You can revise that bar and move it up or move it down based on the information that you receive from your parents, your culture, and the influences from the outside world. The thing you have to worry about is you don't want to set a personal standard so high that it leads to perfectionism because you can't even make that bar and then you will sink into despair and stagnation. You also don't want to set a personal standard bar so low that you have no motivation to achieve and you're opening the door for a manipulator to come in and drop you into a fog, fear, obligation, and guilt. You also don't want to use your personal standards to judge someone else by saying that your personal standards are better than theirs because you should not be judgmental because everyone has a different personal standard. Your personal standard may be here, someone else's personal standard may be here, someone else's personal standard may be here, but guess what? It's their personal standard. You have no right to judge them. So you need to figure out your personal standards in those seven pillars of a relationship. Accountability, character, communication, love, maturity, team dynamics, vulnerability, and the foundation they rest upon, trust. Let that be your internal rules for dealing with other people in relationships. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video about personal standards. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, and click that little notification bell so you'll know when the next video is being put out. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.